Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. Today you can see we have the Hydrofix. Again, we're going to do another video on this unit. I did a video review on the Hydrofix and we determined that it made really good quality water at 1.5 ppm, but we used a scientific flow meter to measure the amount of hydrogen that it makes for breathing and the company said that it will make 120 milliliters per minute. So we did a test and the way that I determined how much gas this machine would make as I hooked it up to a scientific flow meter and the flow meter said it made 38 to 42 milliliters per minute so it was way off the 120 milliliters per minute that the company says that it will do so I thought I would do a video that all you guys can do at home to see how many milliliters per minute your actual actual machine will make your hydrofix machine will make and it's real easy to do and you can do it with just a few things uh, all you actually all you need is a bottle of water. This is a 500 milliliter bottle of water and what we're going to do is we're going to submerge this bottle of water in the sink here and we're going to take and put the nasal cannula up inside and we're going to measure how much time it takes to displace the water in this bottle. We're talking about time in milliliters so we'll figure out how much it displaces per minute and then I'll tell us how many milliliters per minute the machine is making. And this is something you can do at home. It'll get you really close. And you can see how much gas your Hydrofix is actually making. So what I'm going to do is, this says it's 500 milliliters. I'm just going to go ahead and measure that. I have a graduated cylinder here. We're going to see how much water is actually in one of these bottles. I think it's a little more than 500, but we'll see what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off of this. You can see this is sealed. And I'm going to pour it in here and we'll see how much water we have. But it looks like 520 to me. So 520 milliliters. So we'll measure the amount of time it takes for the Hydrofix to displace 520 milliliters. I'm going to go ahead and pour the water back into the bottle. Now you don't need this graduated cylinder to do this test. I'm just showing how much water is actually in this bottle. Now we're going to take the breathing cannula and we're just going to remove the hose from inside of it. Real easy to do. Just remove that. We'll set this aside. Go ahead and hook it into your breathing cap. Now what we do is we're going to take it, take this bottle, put our cap back on. Got our stopwatch here. What you do is you take your bottle, turn it upside down, put it in the water. Make sure it's pointed down so no water escapes. Take the cap off. Try not to squeeze the bottle at all because we don't want to lose any of the water that's in the bottle already. And we stick the end of the cannula into the bottle. And then we hit our start. Now, we're going to measure the time it takes to displace this 520 milliliters of water. See some bubbles just went through there. There's the zoomed in look at it. Now as this is filling with hydrogen, you can see that this section 
that has gas in the bottle, I'm leaving above the water in the sink. And as the gas displaces the water out, you want to go ahead and lift the bottle with it. What we don't want to do is we don't want to create any back pressure in the bottle by having it submerged like this. This will create back pressure. So just kind of let it float there and keep it upside down until the gas has displaced all the water. Now this is going to take some time. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video. Go ahead and zoom back here a little bit so you can see the time. You see we're just going over three, just about three minutes and you can see that the bottle's up out of the water a little bit. We've displaced some of the water in the bottle with hydrogen. So this at the top here is all the hydrogen that the Hydrofix has produced. also want you to be able to see the hydrofix making the hydrogen here, so I'm going to pan up a little bit. So you can kind of see the rate of hydrogen that the hydrofix makes. Not a lot of bubbles coming out of there. So you can just imagine so for every breath, you're getting a couple bubbles. Now as it's producing, I'm letting it go ahead and float. But I'm making sure that, that I don't let it tip up. We want all the gas to escape into the bottle. So we leave it tipped down. When we're done with this, I'll show you how to do the math. It's real simple math. If you guys out there that own this machine want to go ahead and make a video on you doing it on your own machine, doing this test on your own machine, I'd be glad to uh, take a look at that and even upload your video onto my channel. So those of you out there that want to do this test, I'll be really interested to see what your guys' machines are getting. As you can see now, it looks like we're more than halfway. So we're getting there. Right now there's about 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, now we're about 13 and a half minutes. As you can see, we've got about, you know, about three quarters of the bottle emptied. So we have three quarters gas, one quarter water still left to displace. This method looks a little crude, it's because it is, but this is something you can do at home. This is an easy way to detect how much gas your Hydrofix is making.
There's just a little bit of water left in there. So I'm giving you these tools just for you to be able to check the production of your Hydrofix machine. Okay, the bottle is nearly empty. There's still a little water in there. But I'm going to go ahead and call it. You can see, we still have some water to displace. But we've been at it for 23 minutes and 49 seconds. Now let's go do the math. Okay, so in order to convert that into milliliters per minute, we have to take our time, which is 23 minutes, 49 seconds. 23, 49. So we need to figure out how many seconds it took. We'll take 23 times 60, and then we'll add 49 to it. So that gives us a total of 1,429 seconds to move 520 milliliters of water out of, a, out of the bottle. Now all we need to do to find out how many milliliters per minute, all we need to do is divide this 1,429 by 60. And there you have it, it's 23.81 milliliters per minute. So there you have it, the low-tech way to figure out how many milliliters per minute your Hydrofix is making. Again, that is way lower than the 120 milliliters per minute that it's supposed to make. Just for reference, how long would it take to evacuate the water out of that bottle if it was making 120 milliliters per minute. All we do is take 520 milliliters and divide it by 120 milliliters per minute and we get 4.33 so that's about 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So if it only took 4 minutes and 20 seconds to displace the 520 milliliters out of that bottle it would be making 120 per minute. This concludes this video on how to measure the amount of milliliters per minute your Hydrofix is making. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.